Hi there everybody, Ollie here, aka Secret Nimbus here, another episode of Magic Jewels. So uh, as you can see, Shadows Over Innistrad and the Oath of the Gatewatch uh, expansion has now dropped. So we're fully updated to uh, Shadows Over Innistrad, I believe this is uh, Jace taking the Innistrad. So to start my coverage off, what we're going to do is, so that's basically saying I've got the starter boxings to open. So yeah, well, for the start of yeah, for starting off my coverage of Shadows of Innistrad and Oath of the Gatewatch, what I'm going to be doing is a full pack opening of the Shadows of Innistrad set. So I've got enough gold to fully open this set. So we're going to start off by buying 32 packs of Shadows of Innistrad boosters. So yeah, my plan is to buy the entirety of Shadows of Innistrad, start brewing some decks with this, and then kind of finish slowly opening Oath of the Gatewatch after that. So open the first booster and see what we find. So we're just going to be opening the full set here, seeing what we get. So Elusive Tormentor, discard a card, transform Elusive Tormentor. So it's a 4-4 for 4, four, four and it tr uh, transforms into Insidious Mist. So Hexproof, Indestructible, can't block and can't be blocked. Whenever Insidious Mist attacks and you in isn't blocked, you may pay 3 mana. If you do so, transform it. Okay, so it's interesting. Don't know why you'd want Insidious Mist then, unless you've got somewhere pumping it up maybe. Got Air of Falconry, so this is a uh, an, an uncommon. To so discard a card, transfer an Air. Of, so this is basically like part going to be part of the vampire uh, kind of tribal kind of uh, in, introduced in Shadows of Rinnistrad. So we've got uh, so discard a card, transfer Air of Falconry, activate its ability only once this turn, and we've got Air to the Night. So if you can transform Air of Falconry, it becomes a three-two with flying. Very nice. Got Avacyn Missionaries. So at the beginning of your end step, if Avacyn Missionaries is equipped transform it so if you've basically got um uh, some kind of equipment on it so when this creature transforms into lunark inquisitors you may exile another target creature until lunark inquisitors leaves the battlefield that's pretty cool so it goes from a 3-3 to a 4-4 four, four. so if it's equipped it basically goes into a much more powerful creature that's interesting got Morland drifter 2-2 two, two with delirium so it has flying as long as you have four or more card types among uh different card types in your graveyard. We've also got lots of spirits in this expansion, so we've got a 2-4 spirit flying creature, so we might be able to get like spirit um, uh, tribal as well maybe. So when Emissary of Sleepless enters the battlefield, if a creature died this turn, put a 1-1 one, one white spirit creature token onto the battlefield. Also white weedies might also be viable with the Shadows of Rinistrad expansion as well. And then we've also got Stoic Builder, enters the battlefield, you may return target land card from your graveyard to your hand. Interesting, interesting. Uh, let's get to the next booster, see what we find. What have we got here then? So we've got uh, Macabre, Macabre Walt, Waltz. I, I was tr trying to say uh, Macabre. It's a, one of those weird words. Uh, so we can return up to two target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand, then discard a card. Interesting. Got Rabid Bite. Target creature you control deals damage equal to its power to target creature you don't control. Interesting. That's pretty cool. Like so It's almost like green... Um, it's like a green uh, control spell. That's quite nice. So they don't fight. It just deals damage equal to its power to target creatures you don't... Wow, that's pretty cool. Um, Intrepid Provisioner. When Intrepid Provisioner enters the battlefield, another target human you control gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. Very nice. Um, Dranu Corpse Trawler. Enters the battlefield, put a 2-2 two -two black zombie creature token onto the battlefield. So again, tokens are going to be a big thing, I think, in Shadows of Rinistrad. And we've got Pious Evangel. Ev Ev Evangel. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, so when Pious Evangel or another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you gain one life. Good for a life gain deck. Sacrifice another permanent, transform Pious Evangel into Wayward Disciple. So whenever Wayward Disciple or another creature you control dies, your target opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Wow, that's just made like black-white um, life gain uh, more powerful. Uh, Asylum Visitor. So at the beginning of each player's upkeep, if that player has no cards in hand, you draw a card and you lose one life. Okay, let's keep going. So we've got quite a few packs left to open here. Okay, we've got the first of our new land. Ooh. We've got our first uh, Mythic Rare. So we've got Olivia, Mobilized for War. So this is basically uh, for Vampire Tribal. So whenever another creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may discard a card. Um, if you do so, put a 1-1 one -one counter on that creature. It gains haste until end of turn and it becomes a vampire as an addition to its other types. Wow, that is awesome. That's just awesome for kind of like any kind of like, maybe like black red tokens, something like that. So, um... Wow, she is sweet. That's the first uh, mythic we've unlocked. We've had a look at Avacyn Mercenaries. We've got Reaper of Flight Moonsilver, so flying with Delirium. So basically, whenever four or more cards with different types are in the graveyard, you can sacrifice another creature. Reaper of Fl Flight Moonsilver gets plus two, plus one until end of turn. Pretty cool. It's an angel card. So lots of angels, vampires, and werewolves in this uh, in this set. 
We've also got Survive the Night. Target creature gets plus one zero and gets indestructible until end of turn. Pretty cool. Uh, murderous Compulsion, destroy target tapped creature, so uh, more control. Or we've got Madness, so if we're forced to um, discard this, we can pay its uh, Madness cost instead. Um, so, say for example, we've got like Jace and we're tapping him down and we have, we, we have to discard a card, we can use discard Murderous Compulsion and pay its Madness cost as well, and which is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, Madness is one of the new mechanics introduced in Shadows of Rinistrad. Got Warped uh, Landscape, so basically we can, uh, it's colourless mana, so synergizes up more with Oath of the Gatewatch. And we can also sacrifice Warped Landscape, search your library for a basic land card and put it onto the battlefield tapped. Cool, so it can be used for like mana fixing as well as tapping for colourless mana. So um, next booster, so that's our first uh, Mythic Rare unlocked within our third pack. It would be pretty cool if we didn't have enough gold to basically buy the entire pack anyway. Got another air of Falcon Wreath. Got Catalog. Draw two, draw two cards and discard a card. So useful for triggering madness costs. So um, it's like a three mana draw two cards and then you can obviously then use it to trigger a madness. Vessel of Volatility. So sacrifice Vessel of Volatility. Add four mana to your mana pool. Wow, that's pretty cool. So, um, so you can basically use one red mana to add four red mana to your mana pool. Nice. Um, Quilled Wolf gets plus four, plus four until end of turn if you pay seven mana. Okay, interesting. Rattle Chains, so Flash Flying, uh, so again, another spirit. So when Rattle Chains into the battlefield, target spirit gets hexproof until end of turn. So yeah, we're maybe looking at like Spirit Tribal as well. So lots of tribal interactions in uh, Shadows of Rinistrad. Like I said, spirits, vampires, werewolves, humans, and uh, yeah. Cool. Uh, so we've got Toppelgeist. With Toppelgeist into the battlefield, tap target creature and opponent controls. And with Delirium, at the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, if there are four more card types, uh, that tap target creature that players controls. That's pretty cool. Um, move on to the next booster. Okay, so we've got Ember Eye Wolf. So lots of wolves to synergize up with the air, uh, werewolves. So we've got Ember Eye Wolf gains plus two zero until end of turn. Reduced to Ashes, deals 5 damage to target creature, if that creature would die this end, exile it instead. Not the best, I'd still prefer something like, um, what's the word I'm looking for, uh, Exquisite Firecraft over something like that. Thornhide Wolves, 4-5 uh, Wolf Creature. Encourageable Youths, so uh, Vampire, with Haste and Madness, so we can potentially cast it as a Madness cost. Uh, Mokrit Necropod, Slug Horror with Menace and attacks or whenever it attacks or blocks, sacrifice another creature or land. Wow, seven mana, five, uh, six, six mana, seven, seven. Pretty crazy. So you have to basically sacrifice another creature to actually swing with it though. And then we've got Death Cap Cultivator. So add black. Oh, wow, awesome. So we've got creatures which we can now tap down to add extra mana to our mana pool. So this is essentially a ramp card as a body on the battlefield as well. So. Uh, that's really cool, and it's also got Death Touch with Delirium, so that's really cool. Nice to see some new mechanics being introduced into Magic Jewels, which are usually only in the paper format. So, another Vessel of Volatility, another Survive of the Night, Apothecary Geist. So, whenever Apothecary Geist enters the battlefield, if you control another spirit, you gain three lives. So, yeah, we're looking at maybe like Spirit Tribal as well, which is pretty cool. So, we've got a uh, Stenzia Masquerade. Attacking creatures you control have first strike. Whenever a vampire you control deals combat damage to a player, put a 1 1 counter on it. Oh wow, that's really good for Vampire uh, Tribal, and it's also got a Madness cost as well, another Toppelgeist, and from under the floorboard, so Madness, so it's got a very, like, it's kind of got an ex-Madness cost, um, so put three 2-2 two -two Black Zombie Creature Tokens onto the battlefield, and you gain three life, nice, for five mana that's okay, that's not bad actually, that's actually really good, yeah, five mana you get, like, six damage on the board and three life, and if you pay it for its madness cost, put X of those tokens onto the battlefield and you gain X life, oh, wow, that is awesome, cool, I like the sign of that, um, okay, next booster, they seem to have fixed the zooming in and out on the, uh, booster opening screen, which is quite nice, Okay, so we've got Convicted Killer, so, hum so this is uh, one of the first werewolves we've managed to unlock, so at the beginning of each upkeep, if no spells are cast this turn, transform Convicted Killer, and then you get Branded Howler. So at the beginning of each upkeep, if a player casts two or more spells last turn, transform Branded Howler. So yeah, basically, the werewolves transform with either no cards played or two cards played. Got Press for Answers, so tap target creature, it doesn't untap during its controls next untap step, so uh, it's also got an Investigate, so put a colourless clue artifact token onto the battlefield with pay two mana, sacrifice artifact, draw a card. Wow, that is brilliant for um, 
tempo decks. So you not only can you like tap it down, you've then got the option to draw cards as well. Got another Ember Eye Wolf, got another Celestia Masquerade, we've got an Essence Flux. So for one uh, blue mana, you can exile target creatures you control, then return that card to the battlefield under its owner's control. If it's a spirit, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Nice! So that's good for Spirit Tribal. And then we've got another Werewolf, so we've got Gaia Reach Bandit. So at the beginning of your upkeep, if no spells were cast last turn, transform it. So it's a 3-2 with haste, or it becomes Vilden Pack Alpha. So whenever a Werewolf enters the battlefield under your control, you may transform it. Oh wow, so you can basically, whenever this is on the battlefield, so um, so if you can somehow transform Gaia Reach Bandit, basically automatically werewolves come under the, on the battlefield uh, transformed. And at the beginning of each upkeep, if a player casts two more spells, you transform it back. Cool. Uh, next booster. So we've got quite a few more uh, cards to go through here. I'm just really enjoying this. Like, opening packs is uh, very satisfying. So we've got Fiery Temper, deals three damage to target creature or player. Very nice. It's just a, it's similar to... Um, also I'm looking for it. Similar to uh, Exquisite Firecraft, but it does have the one mana madness cost, which is quite cool. Another Stoic Builder, another Thorn Hide Wolves. We've got Tenacity. Creatures you control gain plus one, plus one, and gain lifelink until end of turn, so good for like a White Weenies deck. We've got Nahari Machinations. At the beginning of combat on your turn, target creature you control gains indestructible until end of turn. And Nahari's Machinations deals one damage to target blocking creature. Interesting. Then we've got another Elusive Tormentor which is a vampire wizard, so yeah, it becomes Insidious Mist. I'm not sure how the Insidious Mist works, something to play around with later on. Another Thornhide Wolves, another Gaia Reach Bandit, got Dead Weight, so this is back. This was always very useful in previous versions, so it's basically like a minus two, minus two removal spell. Alums of the Vein, so target opponent loses three life and you gain three life, and has a one mana madness cost. Uh, Hermit of the Nakanol, so uh, Natanol, sorry, is a human werewolf. So whenever an opponent casts a spell during your turn, draw a card. Wow, that's pretty cool. So play that down, prevent your opponent from drawing, wanting to draw cards. I would say playing spells, because then you draw more cards. So really good, like kind of uh, value in terms of tempo. At the beginning of each upkeep, if no spells were cast last turn, you transfer it to Lone Wolf of the Natanols. So whenever an opponent casts a spell during your turn, draw two cards. Wow, that's even better. At the beginning of each upkeep, if a player casts two or more spells last turn, transfer Lone Wolf of the Natanols. Wow, that's pretty cool. And then we've got another werewolf, so Lamb Holt Pacifist, so can't attack unless you control a creature with power 4 or greater. At the beginning of each upkeep, if no spells are cast, yep, so you transform, so Lamb Holt Butcher. At the beginning of each upkeep, if a player, yep, so it just transforms into uh, a 4-4. Four -four. So plenty of werewolves we're getting, uh, getting here. We'll start to go through this quicker once we've like start to see duplicates, so we've got Snitch, Snitch Mangler, and Spatterfield Tapped. Um, so this is a zombie horror. When it enters the battlefield, tap target creature and opponent controls. Okay, that's pretty cool. So we've got more more tempo kind of cards. Sanitarium Skeleton, return it from the graveyard. Pyrehound, so it's a 2-3 with trample. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, put a one... Oh my god, that's amazing for like um, red-blue kind of like uh, control. I like that. That is going to be awesome for kind of like dodge and burn. Neglected Heirloom, so it's a uh, an equipment that flips. So equipped creature gets plus one, plus one. Whenever equipped creature transforms... And the, uh, tr okay, so whenever it, a, a, an equipped creature transforms, you also transform Neglected Heirloom. It becomes Ashmouth Blade, so it gets plus three, plus three, and First Strike. Very nice. Erdwall Illuminator, a one, three uh, spirit with flying, and you can investigate for the first time each turn. Investigate, and whenever you investigate for the first time each turn, investigate an additional time. Okay, so that's basically like um, synergizing up with any investigate, and we've got another death cap cultivator there. So, yeah, I'm, I'm assuming we're going to see more and more repeats as we get through. So, we've not so we've seen Convicted Killer, we've got Murderous Compulsion, you've seen that. Senseless Rage is, is, is an enchantment, so Enchanted Creature gets plus two, plus two, very nice. Plus, you can also play its Madness Cost as well. Seen you, Spectral Shepherd, so return target spirit you control to its owner's hand. Very nice. And then we've also seen from under the floorboards, so we can move on a bit quicker, see most of those cards. So what we've got, Vessel of uh, Inferior, so for pay two mana and then later on you can sacrifice it, put two 1-1 one, one white spirit creature tokens onto the battlefield. Again, good for maybe white weenies. Got an Angelic Purge. Uh, sacrifice a permanent exile target. Oh, that's, this is this is pretty good for weenies as well. So if you've got lots of like weenies on the board, you essentially pay three mana and exile target artifact creature or enchantment. Very nice. Ghoul cool as accomplice. So you can exile it from your graveyard. Put a two-two black zombie creature token onto the battlefield. Very nice. Very useful. 
Aberrant researchers, so a human insect. At the beginning of your upkeep, put the top card of your library into your graveyard. If it's an instance or sorcery, transform it into perfected form. Wow, 5 4 with flying. Very nice. We've seen you. And have we seen Asylum Visitor? I don't think we have. Vampire Wizard. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, if that player has no cards in hand, you draw a card and you lose one life. Okay, interesting. So uh, more, more for the vampire synergy. Another Pyre Hound. Hey, we've got our first Planeswalker, Arlen Cord. So this is the uh, Werewolf uh, Planeswalker. So you can basically plus one it until end of turn up to one target creature gets plus two, plus two and gains Vigilance and, and Haste. And you can also put a 2-2 two, two Green Wolf Creature token from the, onto the battlefield and transform Arlen Cord. In which case you then got creatures you control again plus one, plus one and gain Trample until end of turn. You can either minus one it and uh, deal three damage to target creature or player. Uh, or you can minus six it and you get an emblem with creatures you control have haste tap and with uh, with a tap this creature deals damage equal to its power to target creature or player that's really cool i do like that that's gonna be really good for for kind of if you've got um like lots and lots of like werewolves and stuff onto the battlefield lots of other creatures so uh that ultimate's pretty cool so yeah you can kind of flip her back many times but she's still a planeswalker both times and i've got another air of falcon wreath got another masquerade sleep paralysis enchant creature when sleep paralysis enters the battlefield, tap enchanted creature. Enchanted creature. So that's basically uh, a bit like um, uh, the other kind of enchantment which keeps a creature tapped down. And we've seen those other ones before. So that's our first planeswalker of uh, Shadows over Innistrad. Very nice. Okay, we've got Fevered Visions. So at the beginning of each player's end step, that player draws a card. So this is another enchantment. So lots of enchantments I've seen so far as well. Uh, so at the beginning of each player's end step, that player draws a card. If the player is your opponent and has four or more cards in hand, Fevered Vision deals two damage to him or her. Wow, that's that's pretty cool. It's like great for like a red-blue deck. So uh, catalog. So yep, we've seen you. Have we seen this one? Nope. Voldarin Julis, so another vampire. When it enters the battlefield, target creature can't block this turn. Very nice. That's really cool. So you can play it on turn four, potentially on an open board, or even with just one creature, and then swing for three damage. Uh, we haven't seen Dustwatch Recruiter, so it's a human werewolf warrior. Look at the top three cards of your library. You may reveal a creature card from amongst them and put them into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. At the beginning of each upkeep, if no spells were cast last turn, transform it. And then you've got Crown Horde Howler, so creature spells you, ca you cast cost one less to cast. Very nice. At the beginning of each upkeep, if a player casts two or more spells, yep, transform it back. We've got Ulrich's Kindred. So it's a wolf, so with trample, and then target attacking wolf or werewolf gains indestructible until end of turn. Very nice. Uh, and I'm, I think we've seen the rest of these, so let's move on. I want to get this through. I want to get through as fast as possible. Another vessel of volatility, another catalog, another murderous compulsion, another view. So this is the only new one. So altered ego can't be countered. So, okay, so for at least four mana, uh, you may have an altered ego enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield except it enters with X additional what? Oh my god, that is amazing. So if potentially for like four mana, you could copy an Ulamog and it can't be countered either. That is amazing. That is brilliant for a tempo deck. Like you can put, potentially put down, somebody say somebody plays a big creature like Ulamog, you then copy it and it's bigger than the creature they've just put down. That is going to be awesome so I, I can see tempo getting a big upgrade from this expansion um okay oh we've got the new removal spell so we've got a three mana exile card so uh you can now exile um a target creature for for any three mana you do lose three life but it's not the end of the world rancid rats with skulk and death touch so this creature can't be blocked by creatures with greater power okay that's interesting so you can potentially use it to push through damage against like a uh, big creatures and stuff like that We've got Gatsaf Arsonist, so it's human werewolf. Uh, so it's a 5-4 automatically, and then it transforms into a 6-5 with menace. And we've got Howl Pack Resurgence. Each creature you control that's a wolf or werewolf gains plus one, plus one, and has trample. Nice. Um, so that's the flash that. It's just an enchantment. So you can flash it in and basically go for like some huge damage. So you can essentially use it as a as an instant, and then also like use it on a massive swing. We've also got Tooth Collector, so for three mana we get uh, enter the battlefield, target creature and opponent controls gain minus one, minus one until end of turn. Um, at the beginning of each up opponent's upkeep, if there are four, yeah, yeah, yeah. target creature that player control gets minus one, minus one until end of turn. That's pretty cool. So like the delirium cost kind of like keeps like picking off small creatures. 
I'm not getting through this anywhere near as fast as I'd like, but I'm enjoying myself. Opening packs. I've seen Sanitarium Skeletons, seen Rancid Rats. Haven't seen Rush of Adrenaline, so it's an instant which gives target creature plus two plus one and gives trample until end of turn. Paranoid Parish Blade, a Delirium, which gives it plus one zero and first strike. And uh, here is Machination Scene, Sage of Ancient Law. Not seen this one, so it's a human shaman werewolf. Sage of Ancient Law's power and toughness equal to the number of cards in your hand. When Sage of Ancient Law enters the battlefield, draw a card. At the beginning of each upkeep, if no spells were cast, you transform it. So it's Vigilance Trample, Werewolf of Ancient Hunger's power and toughness are equal to the total number of cards in all players' hands. That's amazing. Um, so that, this could be really powerful, this one. Okay. Next booster. Let's try and get through this a bit quicker, guys. Been going like 20 minutes already, so... Uh, Gotta to get to work eventually. You've got Merciless Resolve. As an additional cost to Merciless Resolve, sacrifice a creature or land. Draw two cards. Very nice. Throttle. Target creature gains minus four, minus four until end of turn. So it's like... So it's basically... It's like, it's like an instant version of Languish, except it's like five mana. Not sure how useful that is. Maybe in a control deck. Intrepid Provisioner with C, I think. Pack Guardian, so Flash, so 4-3 Flash creature, very nice. Enter the battlefield, you may discard a land card. If you do so, put a 2-2 green wolf creature token onto the battlefield, very nice. How pack, so this is going to be good in like werewolf wolf decks. Welcome to the fold, so it's a 4 mana with gain control of target creature if its toughness is 2 or less. If welcome to the fold's madness cost was paid instead, gain control of that creature if its toughness is X or less. That's really cool. So it's madness cost, it's very good there. So we've got another Throttle, we've got Inspiring Captain, Enter the Battlefield, Creatures You Control Game, plus one, plus one. We've seen Catalog, Rise from the Tides, put a 2-2 Black Zombie Creature token on the Battlefield, tap for each instant and sorcery card in your graveyard. Very nice, so we're going to be looking at maybe producing a lot of zombie tokens later on in the game some decks. Reckless Scholar, Target Player draws a card then discards a card, so that's going to be good for like Madness decks. Um, so Handwear Militia Captain, at the beginning of your upkeep, if you control four or more creatures, transform Handwear Militia Captain. Westvale Cult Leader's power and toughness are equal to the number of creatures you control. At the beginning of your upkeep, end step, put a 1-1 one, one white and black human cleric. Oh my, that is amazing. This has suddenly made white weenies viable. This is like the card that was missing for a white weenies deck. So basically, if you control four more creatures, it flips. And then it kind of keeps generating tokens and has power and toughness equal to the number of creatures you control. Yeah, this, this has suddenly made white weenies viable. And then it keeps producing more white weenies as well. Wow. Yes, white weenies is now a thing. It wasn't a thing before. I tried it a couple of times, but it is... Oh, here we go. We've got our, another rare, I've got another uh, mythic rare. We've got Gitrog Monster. So a 6-6 with Death Touch. And we're going to your upkeep. Sacrifice a Gitrog Monster unless you sacrifice a land. So kind of terrifying. You may play an additional land on each of your turns, so you can keep like feeding it. Whenever one or more lands are put into the graveyard from anywhere, draw a card. Pretty cool. Uh, got Pieces of the Puzzle. Reveal the top five cards of your library. Put two instant and or sorcery cards from among them into your hand and the rest into your graveyard. So great for, like, um, control decks. Seen these. Seen Duskwatch Recruiter. Yep. And Aberrant Researcher. Okay. So not the, only the Gitrog Monster really interesting in that one. We've got Storm Rider Spirit. So another spirit. So Flash Flying. Seen you. Seen the Arsonist, I think, haven't we? Yes, we have, yeah. We've got Equestrian Skill. Enchanted Creature gains plus three, plus three. As long as it's an Enchanted Creature is a human, it has... And as long as it's an Enchanted Creature is a human, it has Trample. Pretty cool. Kessig Forge Master, so another werewolf. So whenever it blocks or becomes blocked by a creature, Kessig For Forge Master deals one damage to that creature. Awesome. So you could use it to potentially take on, uh, like, three health uh, minions. You can also transform it into Flameheart Wolf. Again, it's similar, but it does two damage to that creature instead. Got Lightning Axe, so additional cost of playing Lightning Axe, discard a card or pay five. Lightning Axe deals five damage to target creature. Okay, so you can basically, it's a one mana, uh, like, remove five damage removal spell. Um, and you only have, and if you discard a card, you can then uh, only have to pay one. So we've got another Anguished Unmasking. So yeah, we're going to start seeing a lot of repeats soon, I think. So seeing you, seeing you, seeing you, Tenacity. Yeah, we've seen Tenacity, I think. Yep, we have seen that. We've seen you and confirm Suspicions. Counter target spell. Five mana counter, not the best. And you can investigate three times. So you basically put three investigation tokens onto the battlefield. So another Sanitarium Skeleton. Down, Drown Yard Explorers. And Battlefield Investigate. Okay. Seen you. Wildfield Scarecrow. So it's a 1 4 defender. You can sacrifice it to find uh, two basic land cards. Put them into your hand so it's pretty good for ramping i suppose so you can drop it 
turn three, turn four, you can find some more mana. Seen you, seen you. Okay. Okay, we're moving a bit quicker now. Now it's starting to see a lot more repeats. Uh, seen, I think I've seen this one. Uh, nope, we have not seen this one. So it's good, like, no card. So uh, sacrifice it, put the top three cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard, and you get to draw a card. So that would synergize up really well with um, Sphinx's tutelage. There's one of you. You've got Insolent Neonate, which is a vampire. Uh, so you can sacrifice it and draw a card. So good for starting off with. It's got Menace as well. Gite Blast, so it deals two damage to target creature or player. You can exile it from your graveyard. Copy target instant or sorcery spell you control. You may choose new targets for the copy. Interesting. Um, I'm not sure how these copy things work. I'd have to have a play around with that, I think. So copy target instant or sorcery spell you control. You may choose new targets for the copy. Okay, so I'm guessing that you can basically copy one in your hand and then actually just like kind of pay it out. That's pretty cool. That's going to be awesome for like red, red, blue control. Seen you and seen you. Okay, let's move on. Okay, we've got Dauntless Cathar. So exile Dauntless Cathar from your graveyard. Put a 1-1 one, one white spirit creature token onto the back. That's pretty cool. Uh, Hinterland Logger. At the beginning of your upkeep, if no spells were cast this turn, transform Hinterland Logger. So it has Trample. Um, and then at the beginning of each upkeep, okay, that's pretty cool. So um, it's not, not great on its own, but once it's transformed, it's a bit better. See Intrepid Provisioner. Call of the Waxing Moon. Whenever a permanent you control transforms into a non-human creature, but a two that's awesome. So that's definitely going into a uh, like a werewolf deck. Uh pack guardian we've seen. Always watching. Non-creature token non-token creatures you control get plus one plus one and have vigilance. So not great, mate, not great for a token deck, but uh could still be useful. Uh, okay, so Mil Militant Inquisitor gets plus one, plus one for each equipment you control. So maybe equipment decks. Seen most of these. Haven't seen Ghoulsteed. Discard two cards, return Ghoulsteed from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. And then we've got Devil's Playground. Put four 1-1 one, one red Devil creature tokens onto the battlefield. They have when this creature dies, it deals one damage to target creature or player. Very nice. Interesting card. So what have we seen from here? We've seen you, Twins of Moor Estate. So it's a vampire with madness, so you can potentially cost its madness cost. Intrepid Provisioner we've seen. Obsessive Skinner is a human rogue. Enter the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creature. And with Delirium, uh, you can also put an, an additional plus one. Oh, at the beginning of each opponent's upkeep, if they're, okay, so you get to put an additional plus one, plus one counter if with Delirium every turn basically so diagraph colossus this is a old card brought back i think enter the battlefield with a plus one plus one counter on it for each zombie card in your graveyard whenever you cast a zombie spell put a plus two put a two two black zombie creature token onto the battlefield oh my god this has actually made the uh, zombie decks viable as well we've got zombie uh, tribal potentially as well looking at this uh looking at this expansion so all tribal in um Shadows over Innistrad. I love it. I do like tribal decks. I think we've seen all of these. Blood Mad Vampire. Deals combat damage to a player. Put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Very nice. Vampire Berserker. Murderer's Axe. So plus two, plus two. Uh, and when you equip it, discard a card. Uh, Reckless Scholar we've seen. And Altered Ego we've seen. Come on, we want to go a bit faster here, guys. Senseless Rage I think we've seen. You we've seen. Ghoul as Accomplice we've seen. Tenacity Slayer's Plate. Crit creature gets plus four, plus two. Whenever a quick creature dies, if it was a human, put a one, one white spirit creature token with flying onto the battlefield. Very nice. Um, seen you. Puncturing Light. Destroy target attacking or blocking creature with power three or less. Okay. Merciless Resolve. As an additional cost to cast Merciless Resolve. Oh, yeah, we've seen you. Seen you. Seen you. And we've not seen Thalia's Lieutenant. And it's about for a plus one, plus one counter on each other human you control. Oh, my God. That, again, White Weenies is now a thing. White Weenies is going to be awesome. Whenever another human enters the battlefield under your control, put a plus one, plus one counter on Thali's Lieutenant. Yeah. White Weenies is now completely viable. I'm looking forward to trying that, actually. So we've got uh, Rancid Rats, Blood Man Vampire, Ravenous Bloodseeker. Discard a card. Gets plus two, minus two until end of turn. So potentially good for pumping it up. Uh, another Devil's Playground. Okay, so we've got here. So ooh, we've got Mind Rack Demon. So it's a 4-5 for four, 4. That's pretty cheap. Flying and Trample. When it enters the battlefield, put the top four cards of your library into your graveyard. The bigger your upkeep, you lose four life. Okay, that's pretty cool. So you potentially you want to only play this if if you can pay its delirium cost, essentially. And pour over the pages. Uh draw three cards, untap to two up to two lands, and then discard a card. Interesting card. Okay, so that is the first lot of boosters open. So we've also unlocked the um 
Archetypes unlocked. Okay. Um, lots of archetypes here. So we've got 40% of the uh, set collected so far. So we're going to... So we're going to buy yeah, another, another 32 boosters. So we try to get through this as fast as possible. So I said we are going to see a lot of repeats. Um, Dauntless Cathar, Press for Answers. It doesn't. Oh yeah, we've seen that one. Rise from the Tides. Yep, the Zombies. Paranoid Parish Blade. Yep, seen you. I think we've seen all of these. Declaration in Stone. Exile target creature and all of the creatures it control. Its controller controls with the same name as that creature. That player investigates each non-token creature exiled this way. Interesting. Uh, another Fiery Temper, Downward Explorer's Skeleton Key. Crit creature has Skulk. It can't be blocked by creatures of greater power. Interesting. Uh, whenever it deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card. Very nice. Uh, call the Bloodline. Discard a card. Put a 1-1 Black Vampire Night Creature token with lifelink onto the battlefield. Awesome. That's going to be amazing. Declaration in Stone again. Let's keep going. Another dead way, Scourge Wolf, so First Strike and Delirium, has double strike as long as there are four, okay, that's cool. Incorrigible Youths, I've uh, seen you, I've seen Neglected Heirloom, Moorland Drifter, has flying as long as there are four and more, uh, so that's the Delirium, it's a Spirit of Delirium. Press for Answers, seen, bef seen before, so we're already through like three or four packs on this one as we're seeing lots of repeats. Uh, Vessel we've seen, not seen you, so it's a Zombie Horror, and Spatterfield, if you control another zombie, you may draw a card, awesome, so yeah, Zombie uh, tribal is again a thing. Uh, deal fight. Yep, we've seen you. Seen, seen you. Sinister concoction. Pay one life. Put the top card of your library into your graveyard. Discard a card. Destroy target creature. Okay, that's pretty cool. Ever after. So return up to two target creatures from your graveyard to the battlefield. Each of those creatures is a black zombie in addition to its other colors and types. Awesome. So that's brilliant. So for that, uh, reanimator suddenly improved a lot. Put ever after on the bottom of its owner's library. Okay, so we've got Dauntless Cathar, Angelic Purge of Scene, 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 and Bygone Bishop is the new one. Whenever you cast a creature spell with converted mana cost three or less, investigate. Awesome. Good for spirit. So, Scene, 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 Prized Amalgam. Whenever a creature enters the battlefield, if it entered from the graveyard or you cast it from your graveyard, return Prized Amalgam from the graveyard to the battlefield tapped at the beginning of your next end step. Awesome, so good for zombie uh, zombie decks by the looks of things. It's, it's a blue back. So yeah, well, I think we'll be looking to play like a blue black zombie deck as well. Seeing you, seeing you. Um, put two plus one plus one counters on target creature, and then you can put three if you if you've got delirium. Call it the wax and moon we've seen. Forgotten creation. So it's a three three with skulk. And at the beginning of your upkeep, if you may discard all the cards in your hand if you do uh, so draw that many cards. Okay, so if you don't like what cards you've got in your hand. You could use this to like find better ones, so uh, pretty cool. Also, put dumping uh, like cards in your graveyard as well, so you can like use it to trigger delirium a lot easier, I suppose. So uh, we've seen most of these apart from Thraben Gargoyle. So it's the two-two defender with you can transform it to a four-two with flying. Okay. Don't see that one getting much use. It's not the best. It's quite expensive to transform it. So seen. I think we've seen this. Um, yep, we've seen you ages ago. Guide Blast we've seen. Avacyn's Judgment with Madness. So, for two mana, deals two damage divided as you choose among any number of target creatures and or players. If Avacyn's Judgment Madness cost was paid, deals X damage divided as you choose among those creatures and or players instead. That's pretty good. So, it's like a, it's like a Twin Bolt. A potentially really good Twin Bolt if you can potentially um, toss it away for its Madness cost. So seeing you, I think we've seen Apothecary Geist. Um, yeah, so it's like a life gain spirit creature. Formative Homunculus, so two one with Skulk. In a struggle, target creature deals damage to itself equal to its power. So kind of hilarious against um, ca creature cards with a power greater than its toughness. So you can basically cause it to like kill itself. Um, End Spatfield, put it, yep. So that's a zombie uh, for zombie tribal and another bygone bishop. So we're moving a bit moving a bit faster now we're seeing a lot of repeats so just the wind we've not seen so return target creature to its owner's hand so bounce spell uh seen breakneck rider is a human uh so three three and then you transfer it to attack a creature control get plus one zero and have trample awesome so uh that's a nice uh werewolf one seeing you and we've seen it ever after let's keep going 
So we've seen you, seen you, seen you, seen you, seen you, and Tireless Tracker is a new one. Whenever I land into the battlefield under control, investigate. Whenever you sacrifice a clue, put a, a plus one plus one counter on Tireless Tracker. Very nice. So good for some kind of investigation deck. Uh, so seen you, seen you, seen you, Unraveled Mysteries. Um, so again, another like green one, which is good for like an investigation deck. Chaos Forge Master we've seen, and we've seen Forgotten Creation. Okay, yeah, we've seen a lot of repeats now, so we should get through this considerably quicker. So, seeing you, seeing you, Vessel of Malinity. So, sacrifice it, target opponent, exiles two cards from his or her hand. Activate these ability only to any time you can cast a sorcery. Okay, interesting. Seeing you, and we've seen Westville. Oh, no, we have not seen Westville Abbey. So, this is another, it's a transforming land. So, you can use it to add colorless mana to your mana pool. Pay one life, put a 1-1 one, one white and black human cleric creature token onto the battlefield. Sacrifice five creatures, transform Westfell Abbey, and then untap it. It becomes Ormondal Profane Prince. So flying, lifelink, indestructible, and haste. Wow, uh, that's amazing. So that's gonna be great for a life, like a, uh, a life game deck, I think. Yeah, awesome. Sacrifice, or even like a weenie deck. So five mana, sacrifice five creatures, and it suddenly becomes Ormondal Profane Prince. Yeah, that's gonna be amazing. So Westfell Abbey is definitely a very interesting land to have in your deck. So we've got Apothecary guys, Merciless Resolve. I think we've seen all of these apart from Silverfur Partisan. So Trample, so it's a Wolf Warrior. Whenever a Wolf or Werewolf you control becomes a target of an instant sorcery spell, put a Wolf Creature token onto the battlefield. Very nice. Okay, we've got here Angelic Purge, Insolent Neonate. Um, so we've seen you before. Convicted Killer we've seen. You've seen Rector Scholar we've seen and Scourge Wolf we have seen, so a pack of a pack of repeats there. Okay, so Inspiring Captain, so I think we've seen all these apart from Veteran Cathar. So target human gains double strike until end of turn. Quite nice. Uh, we've seen you before and Inerexable Blob. So when enters battle when when it, when it attacks a four Okay, that's cool. So you can if it's if you've got delirium, you can put uh, essentially keep generating tokens with this as well, so uh, that's pretty cool. So we've seen Hinterland Logger, we've seen Rush of Adrenaline, some Thread and Gargoyles. Not seen uh, Tomorrow's Journal. At the beginning of your upkeep, investigate. And you can sacrifice three clues, search your library for a card, put that card into your hand and then shuffle your library. That's quite nice. So you can use it to actually search for a specific card. Not seen much of that in uh, Jewel so far. I think we've seen all of these. Yep. Let's keep going then. Let's get on with this. Hey, we've got Sorin, Grim Nemesis. Reveal the top card of your library. So this is the uh, one of the new Planeswalkers. So reveal the top card of your library, put that card into your hand. Each opponent loses life equal to its converted mana cost. Very nice. When, when Sorin, Grim Nemesis deals X damage to target creature or Planeswalker and you gain X life. Awesome. So this is great for a black-white life gain deck. And uh, you've also got minus nine. Put a number of one black, one one black vampire knight creature tokens with life link onto the battlefield equal to the highest life total among all players. So that ultimate ability is amazing. Uh, I think we've not seen Harvest. We have no, we haven't seen Harvest Hand. When it dies, return it to the battlefield, transformed under your control, and it becomes Scrounged Scythe. Uh, Scythe. So equipped creature gets plus one plus one. So this is equipment. As long as it as equipped creature is a human, it has menace. Okay, that's pretty cool. So you basically transforms into an equipment. Interesting. Uh, might be on reason we've seen. Yeah, so we've seen the rest of these, I think. So that's very nice. We managed to find Sorin. So we've got. I think we've seen all of these before. Ah, oh, Brain in a Jar. This is going to be amazing for, uh, like, control decks. So, put a charge counter on Brain in a Jar, then you may cast instant or sorcery spell with converted mana cost, cost X, equal to the number of charge counters on Brain in a Jar from your hand without paying its mana cost. This is going to be amazing. And then you can also remove X charge counters from Brain in a Jar and Scry as well. So, yeah, this is going to be awesome for control decks. So, the more counters you put on this, the, like, the, like, the more spells you can play without having to pay its mana cost. So, that is awesome. I think there was another card there, which I probably should have looked at, but uh, I skipped over it. I was too excited about Brain in a Jar. Inquisitor's Ox, so not great. Emissary of Sleepless we've seen before. Seen Blood Mad Vampire. Seen you, seen you, and seen you. Okay. Not the most interesting pack there. Ah, very nice friend Jace as well. So we can scry one and draw a card. Return target creature to its owner's hand, so you can use it as a bounce. And you get an emblem whenever an opponent casts his or her first spell each turn, counter that spell. Ho oh, ho, that is brutal. 
I like the ultimate ability on Jace there, so uh, Super Friends is going to be a thing soon, so trying to get all of the uh, Planeswalkers in play will be amazing. So we've got Gite Blast, Lightning Axe, Morland Drifter, and uh, Fork in the Road. Search your library for up to two basic land cards and reveal them. Put one into your hand and the, and into your graveyard, then shuffle your library. Okay, interesting for mana fixing, but I don't, I don't see that one getting much use over some of the other ramp cards um, already available. Okay, we've got Wolf of the Devil's Breach. So it's a five mana mythic rare. Whenever a Wolf or Devil's Breach attacks, you may pay two mana and discard a card. If you do so, Wolf of Devil's Breach deals damage to target creature or planeswalker equal to the discarded card's converted mana cost. Very nice. Um, yeah, awesome. Uh, what else have we got? We've got Furtive Humunculus, Storm Rider Spirit, Confront the Unknown, Investigate, then target creature gets plus one, plus one until end of end for each clue you control. Awesome. Compelling Deterrence. Return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand, then that player discards a card if you control a zombie. Spectral Shepherd. Return target spirit you control to its owner's hand. Okay. Could be good if you want to like trigger like like life gain and stuff from it, I suppose. So we've got another Fervative Humunculus. Here we go. We've got Avacyn as well. Another Warp Landscape. Another Uruix Kind. Another Broken Concentration. So it's a three mana counter target spell. And you can also use it as a Madness as well, which is pretty sweet so yeah we've got another more more um more counter so we've got uh, a, a uncommon three mana map uh, counter spell which is pretty cool and then we've got avacyn archangel avacyn so it's a flash flying vigilance 4-4 uh, when it enters the battlefield creatures you control gain indestructible until end of turn and when uh, when a non-angel creature token you control whenever a non-angel creature you control dies transform avacyn becomes avacyn the purifier so when this creature transforms into avacyn the purifier it deals three damage to each other creature and each other opponent so it becomes a six five uh Six five creature, which is pretty crazy. Okay, what have we got here? Then we've got another prize amalgam. So I think we've seen this one. We've got nagging thoughts. Look at the top two cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand and the other into your graveyard. So we're trying to get trying to get through this quick now. We're uh, we're taking quite a long time to open up all these cards. By the way, courier dies. Investigate. Solitary hunter. So okay, Avicen's judgment. Yeah, we've seen all these before. Let's keep moving on. Another warp landscape, uh, another slayer's plate, piece of the puzzle, Giss's bidding, put two, two, two black zombie creature tokens onto the battlefield, okay good for like zombie decks and other token decks. So yeah, tokens are, I think are going to be a big thing, lots of tribal now. Lamplighter of Selhoff enters the battlefield, if you control another zombie you may draw a card, if you do so discard a card. Oh, you've seen that one before, yes. I think we've seen all of these. Haunted Cloak, we've not seen though. Crit Creature has Vigilance, Trample, and Haste. Very nice. So lots of equipment as well. Okay, we've got Militant Inquisitor. Du -du 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 -du. Hope against Hope. Invoc invocation of Saint Traft. So, Enchanted Creature. Enchanted Creature has, whenever this creature attacks, put a 4 4 white angel creature token with flying onto the battlefield tapped and attacking. Oh my god, that's amazing! Exile that token at the end of combat. Sweet, I like that one. It's a good enchantment. I'm not sure which deck, what kind of deck is going to be used in, but uh, I'm sure I'll find a way. Olivia's Bloodsworn, another vampire. Can't block, and it can gain haste until end of turn. Uh, so I think we've seen the rest of them. Keep moving forward. We're almost there now. That's like 80% of the... Uh, so we've got... Oh, here we go. Another Planeswalker. Nahiri the Harbringer. You may discard a card. If you do so, draw a card. Exile target enchantment. Tapped artifact or tapped creature. That's pretty cool. Search your library for an artifact or creature card. Put it onto the battlefield. Then shuffle your library. It gains haste. Return. So that's going to be really good for like kind of like finding a big creature and then deploying it. Uh, I think we've seen the rest of these. Yeah, no, we haven't seen Biting Rain. All creatures get minus two, minus two until end of turn. So uh, a sweeper. Okay, so... We can only buy 16 more packs, which will be the uh, rest of it collected. Okay, there we go. Let's get let's get through this as fast as possible then. So Thalia's Lieutenant. So yeah, that's one of the um, yeah, that's one of our weenie weenie cards that we want to use. Puncturing Light we've seen. Confront the Unknown. I think we've seen that one. Um, yep. Okay. So seen lots of repeats here. Westworld Abbey. We've seen Hope against Hope. Uh, yep, I think we've seen that one. Yep, I think we've seen all of them. Let's keep moving forward then. Oh, we've got Unvold, uh, uh, Ulvenwald Hydra. So it's got Reach. Awesome. When Ulvenwald's Hydra is power and toughness are equal to the number of lands you control. When enters the battlefield, you may search your library for a land card. That's pretty cool for like ramp decks in general. That's a really nice card. 
Uh, I think we've, so we've got Call the Bloodline, discard a card. Oh yeah, so that's just uh, generating uh, vampires. Cool. Let's keep moving forward. We're almost there, guys. So I think we've seen all of them. Yep. Let's keep going. Want to finish this off? Seen you, seen you, seen you, seen you, seen you, seen you. Yep. Awesome. So nice to see repeats because it just means we're finishing off a bit faster. Seen you, seen you, seen you, seen you, seen you. Confirm suspicions. Oh yeah, we've seen you before. Yep. So yeah, lots of repeats now. Which is good, because we're finishing it off a bit faster. Inspiring Captain, Gatsaf Arsonist. Yep, seeing you. Haunted Cloak, Biting Rain. Thing in the Ice. Yes, we found the first one of these. So, um, so this is, again, great for blue-red blue, blue red kind of like control deck. So basically, Thing in the Ice starts off as a 0-4 Defender. St starts off with four Ice Counters on it. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, move, move an Ice Counter from Thing in the Ice. Then if it has no Ice Counters on it, you transform it into Awoken Horror, which is a 7-8 um, Horror. Uh, and then you get to return when it does transform you get to return all non-horror creatures to their owner's hands so that that you basically return pretty much everything to it to its to owner's hand and you get to swing for eight so uh, i think that's our first thing in the ice that we found so great for red blue control which i think is going to make a resurgence we'll go here then expose evil tap up to two target creatures and investigate nagging thoughts i think we've seen that one Corpse Trawler, yep, and Rattle Chain, so Flash, Flying, Spirit, and the Battlefield, Target Spirit against, yeah, I think we've seen that one ages ago, so we've only just found the second one. Okay, so we've got Vessel of Malinity, Senseless Rage, Bioweek Courier, have we seen that one before? Yeah, we have seen that one, and then there's our second thing in the ice. There's only seven packs left, and then we've unlocked all of Shadows of Rinistrad. So we've got Puncturing Light, um... Destroy target attacking or blocking creature with power three or less. Confront the un. Yeah, we've seen all of these, I think. Yeah, I've seen Ghoul Steed, seen Inerectable Blob. Six packs to go and then we're done. So, Expose Evil, Ghoul Cooler's Accomplice, Blood Mad Vampire, Ghoul Steed, Olivia's Bloodworm, and Flame Blade Angel. Whenever a source. Whenever a source an opponent controls deals damage to you or a permanent you control, you may have Flame Blade Angel deal one damage to that source's controller. Cool. Um, what else have we got? Census Rage, in a Struggle, Compelling Deterrence, Return Type. Oh yeah, we've seen that one. And we've got Drown, da, Drown, Drown Yard Temple, so we can add one colourless mana to our mana pool. Return Drown Yard Temple from your graveyard to the battlefield tapped. It's pretty cool. Four packs left to go and then we're done. Um, Harvest Hand, in a Struggle, Handwear Militia Captain. Yeah, we've seen you. It's one of our white weenie ones, which is going to make it viable. Uh, what else have we got? Welcome to the Fold. Uh, yep, yeah, we've seen that one. Essence Flux. Yep, yeah, I think we've seen all of these. What have we got left to open? Another Drowned Temple. Exponed Evil. Just the Wind. Okay, last pack. And then we've uh, basically opened all of Shadow Silver and Istrad. Okay, so we've got three Farbog Re Re Reverence. So it's a 1 3 with Lifelink. Uh, with Skulk as well. Pretty cool. Uh, and that's it. So uh, that's all of Shadows over Innistrad Unlocked. So basically to unlock all of the Oath of the Gatewatch, you're going to need about 9,600 gold. So I'm going to be opening that slowly over the next few weeks as we uh, as we get some more gold. But that is all of the Shadows over Innistrad set unlocked. So uh, yeah, that's the end of the episode for now. As always, guys, don't forget to comment and like if you've enjoyed the episode. If you're new to the channel, it's always nice to see you hit subscribe. But apart from that, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.